Hello everyone and welcome to Instant Biology by Dr. Nilab. The topic that I'm going to talk about today is one month quick revision plan for GATE 2023. So a lot of students have contacted me and asked me to make a strategy video in which I should tell that what should be the strategy for the next one month and how should one uh, utilize the time after this one month passes because if you if you consider that uh, IIT Kanpur has already uh, informed about the date of the GATE BT examination that it will be happening on 11th Feb. Okay, So GATE BT 2023 has been uh, planned for February 11th and now there are two months remaining. So students have asked me that what should be the process or how we should approach uh, for these two months, what should be the plan for the first month and how we should go about uh, planning or doing things in the second month. So this video would be all about strategy and how you should execute your plans during the upcoming two months. What should be done and what you should avoid doing we would all be talking about these things. Okay, so I would be giving you a proper uh, I mean uh, time wise schedule that how you should progress or what is the exact amount of time that you should be giving to each particular subject because you would be knowing that gate biotechnology has huge number of subjects right like biochemistry microbiology molecular biology immunology bioprocess so a lot of subjects are there what should be your exact approach and how you should go about doing things what is the exact time that you should be devoting to each subject if you are preparing for the first time as well as if you have already pe prepared uh, somewhat and you are looking for some guide for revision okay so let us move on to the first slide and check out that so one month quick revision plan gate bt 2023 this in this uh, uh, i mean in order to accomplish this what i'm uh, telling you in order to accomplish this you'll you'll have to study at least 10 to 15 hours a day because you see not a not a lot of time is left time is very less and you would like to do maximum or you would like to grab maximum out of this time that is left at your hands. So in my opinion biochemistry although it has a lot of uh, um, syllabus what you should do is you should study or you should devote three days to biochemistry but by devoting three days what I mean is you should be looking at all the important topics that biochemistry in, in biochemistry these topics are regularly asked you should look about the topics that are regularly asked in biochemistry in the gate bt examination how you can understand or how you can know about these topics the best thing is you can look into the previous year question papers and you can find out that which topics are important and which topics have been asked a lot in the previous year examinations for example if i uh, tell you that in biochemistry Generally, questions are asked from enzymes, enzyme kinetics, amino acids, proteins, uh, primary structure, secondary structure of protein, tertiary structure, Ramachandran plot, quaternary structure. So a lot of questions are asked from this particular portion. So if I am devoting three days, I would make sure that I cover all the important topics of biochemistry in these three days. Okay. I understand that not all the topics would be covered in three days but, but yes a substantial portion of biochemistry you can cover. I will tell you that how you can work on the leftover topics later on. Okay. So then let us move on to the next topic you would be knowing that metabolism is the next topic. Not a lot of questions are asked from metabolism but yes these questions would definitely give you full marks because there is not of not a lot of twisting in these type of questions they cannot twist right. You already know what is glycolysis, you already know what is Krebs cycle, you already know what is electron transport chain, C3 cycle, C4 cycle, respiration, photosynthesis and uh, uh, a lot about metabolism like, like beta oxidation of fatty acids. You know all these things. So what they can do is they can just ask you about a given cycle. They would not be able to uh, twist a particular question. So some questions are asked from this question uh, from this portion and you can easily target uh, this portion by working on it for for somewhat two days okay so if i were you i would have devoted two days for metabolism now let us talk about the next portion that is cell biology now cell biology has a lot of syllabus 
For example, organelles portion is asked from cell biology, cell division, cell signaling, cancer, junctions, all of this uh, is in cell biology portion. Not a lot of this has been written in the syllabus, but yes, regularly questions are asked and this portion is very important. Cell biology is important because it provides a fundamental for your understanding as well as because of the questions that are asked from here. Questions are simple. If you, if you read properly, if you study properly, cell biology will not be that difficult. Since the syllabus is a lot, that is why I have devoted 5 days for this particular portion. I believe 5 days would be enough for completing the cell biology portion. Now a lot of students ask me that how we should uh, choose topics. That means suppose we have 3 days for biochemistry, which topic should we choose, which topic should we leave in 2 days of metabolism, which, which topic should we study for metabolism, which topic should we leave and similarly for cell biology, how we should go about choosing topics. So for your benefit, we are launching a course that is crash course for gate biotechnology. And this crash course would be launching from 10th of December and it will continue up till 10th of January. Okay, So that means it is a one month course and in this one month course what we are planning to do is we are planning to address all the important topics of all units. That means whatever units are present in the biotechnology syllabus we would cover all the units and the important topics of all the units. This course would be I mean uh, would be functional till 11th of January and after 11th of January also I will be telling you that how you should be going about preparing and in the last one month how you should be revising things what you should do what you should not do we would also be in touch for the last one month okay now let us discuss more about the crash course let me just tell you a little bit more about the crash course if you are interested you can join in also so apart from this then uh, the crash course would have a fees of Rs. 3800 and in this fees you would also get the PDF notes of whatever I teach and you would also get the recordings. So suppose if you miss any particular class then you would uh, be having the recordings and you can revise by your own. Next important thing is that you should you the the classes would take place on google meet the timings would be from 5 pm to 6 30 pm that means we would be studying daily 1.5 hours now why am i teaching you 1.5 hours because i know i would be telling you certain things and i want you to work on those certain things those things solve those questions uh, read about those topics and in this 1.5 hours I'll give you all the overview I'll tell you this 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 portion I'll teach you all that portion and I'll ask you to do questions so that is why you would also definitely require certain time to study that by your own and to do the questions on that okay so after 1.5 hours you have the entire day to study to solve the questions on your own okay so this would be daily this is the class timings and if you want to join this particular course, then you can, you can contact us on 8299134528. So this is the contact detail on which you can get in touch with us and register for this course. Apart from this, I would also like to tell you that this is a bilingual course. That means I would be teaching in Hindi, in Hindi as well as English. So students who have difficulty in understanding Hindi don't need to worry. I would be talking in English as well. Okay, so this was all about the crash course. Let us come back to the important topics that we were talking about and what should be the time devoted to each topic. The next topic is small bio, that means molecular biology. The time required that or the time that I think should be devoted to this section in a, in a, span, in a span of one month should be two days because you see molecular biology comprises of very regular topics. For, like, for example, if you uh, talk about replication, transcription, translation so all these things everyone has already studied right so it will not require a lot of time to uh, to study that again similarly for genetics and evolution genetics at least requires two days because it, it comprises of very simple things mendelian genetics as well as uh, the probability type of questions if you remember so genetics two days and evolutionary biology or you can also call it population genetics that requires one day Okay, so you can uh, devote time like that. Next comes the bioprocess engineering. 
Now, bio process engineering comprises of unit number four and unit number five of gate biotechnology syllabus, and this is a very vast syllabus. Now, for that is why I have devoted for bio process engineering I have devoted five days. Okay, because there are lot of formulas, lot of formulas, lot of questions that you need to practice so that you can get an idea of of, of things. So for this bio process engineering, currently we have a batch running. So one batch for bio process engineering is running if you want to know more about this and if you want to enroll for this particular course you can again get in touch with us by contacting the same number or if you are not interested in taking the live classes we also have launched recently a book on bio process engineering and instrumentation so this is a book that comprises of the crisp notes as well as it, it comprises of the questions so that you can read the notes and solve the questions and get a clear understanding about everything. So this the cost of this book is just Rs. 215 if you want it delivered to your address. So you can also get in touch with us if you want to buy the book only for bioprocess engineering. It is written in a very simple language and you can understand it within a period of 10 days. So this is the review that I have got about the book. I will also uh, attach I mean uh, in the end screen I will attach a video of the book itself so you can uh, get in uh, you can know more about the book you can also read the content of the book so this is for rupees 215 if you want you can uh, order this next is microbiology so microbiology can be uh, uh, anywhere between three days or two days depending upon how much you are studying so Microbiology in since the last few years and because of the corona, so microbiology has gained some importance. So that is why I am devoting three days to this, but it is up to you. You can uh, subtract one day and add this one day to biochemistry or any other portion that you would like to read. So microbiology is completed. In microbiology, you can study about viruses, the classification of viruses, the bacteria, the, the cell membrane of bacteria, cell wall of bacteria, cell wall of fungi. So this membrane and uh, cell wall is often asked in the examination. Let us talk about RDT. Recombinant DNA technology is all about the enzymes, right? So how does uh, enzyme cut at what position an enzyme cut? What is isoschizomer, neoschizomer? A lot of questions like this are asked. Okay, and a lot of techniques also. Now this this portion also encompasses the techniques. Okay, so you can keep techniques also. Te techniques are very simple. So you can in, uh, this examination or gate biotechnology examination does not ask questions like in depth like CSIR does. So RDT in RDT also you can uh, read about the techniques portion. Next is plant and animal biotechnology. This is more of a learning chapter you have to remember what are the secondary metabolites what are the primary metabolites and this can be learnt in one day i believe not a lot of time needs to be spent on this let us talk about bioinformatics bioinformatics again is a is a topic that should be not should not be given more than one day because you should be knowing that what subject or what topics can be asked in bioinformatics so one day and the uh, the databases which databases are asked and uh, what is the uh, the the multiple sequence alignment how you can align multiple sequences this this should be known next is immunology immunology is again uh, a lot of detail is present in the syllabus but you should be concentrating upon certain topics like like antibiotics like antibodies like uh, the the monoclonal antibody things like this Okay, so you should be actually knowing that what are the important topics for each subject. Okay, so this if you want to join the crash course, it will be very, very helpful for you because I will be guiding you for learning or for uh, studying all the important topics for each and every subject. Okay, now coming back to this, what should be done after one month? So after one month of coverage, suppose you have studied uh, for one month what about uh, whatever I have said and then what you have to do is focus on the chapters that you could not complete. 
Now, I definitely know that three days would not be enough for completion of the entire biochemistry. Now, suppose you feel that I would require some more time on a particular topic. You can give the time now because you still have one month left and you can give the time now depending upon the time that you are left with. Now, in the last one month, you have to solve the PYQs, check for maths. If you are good at maths, try and uh, do more of that so that you can score more in the mathematics, uh, engineering mathematics portion. Revise formulas. Again, bioprocess engineering formulas are a lot. You can revise them over here. If you buy the book, then definitely the formulas are present at the back. You need to just quickly flip the pages and you would be able to remember everything. Next is check GA. Now, if you are targeting GA, general aptitude, then the, again, you have to remember some of the formulas. For example, the area, area of a cone, surface area, of a particular structure like sphere, like cube, cuboid, things like that. Some of the questions are asked from uh, vocabulary. So you can work on that if you want. Okay. So these are the important points of the last month. Already I have told you what needs to be done in the, in the, from 10th December or uh, in the December month. Okay. So I believe this would be a very useful video for you. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel and also share with your friends. And if you want to join the crash course, do contact us on the given number. Thank you so much and have a good day.